Shalom, tis me, Frost, the fuck nut that does this channel. Welcome to my top five of mine. If this is the first top five you watched of mine, well, hello. I do the one. I do these once a month, and um, I take the only games I've done so far are GTA 5 and Overwatch. But I'm hoping to extend my variety at some point. Anyway, with that being said, we're back to basics Overwatch. Uh, welcome to the top five of my favourite heroes. Now, let me make some clear, right? I'm not saying these are the greatest heroes in the game. It's my opinion, right? If you somehow get offended over my opinion, then you seriously need to get yourself checked out because there's something wrong with you. Anyway, keep in mind a lot of factors will fall into this, whether it be gameplay-wise, their cat, their voice actor, and a lot of that. So I'm going to be mentioning that a lot, enjoy, and also their skill rating, because you'll probably find that the heroes need a lot of skill to play, will not be on that list, because I have no skill. So coming in at my number 5 spot, I've put Moira. Now this one was kind of hard to put, and also I'd like to make sure that you guys know this, just because I put a hero at a certain spot, it doesn't mean they're better than the other. I just kind of had to choose where I wanted to put them. Anyway, this one was hard because it was either Moira or Anna. And the one thing you need to remember about me is if you've been watching my Overwatch for like, I'd say more than about a week, you'd probably hear me say at some point that I am a support main at heart. So, support is obviously where most of my skill would go into. So, you know. I have the Anna gold gun, which is why it's kind of hard between Moira and Anna, but the thing is, like I said in the intro, Anna requires skill, but Moira doesn't. <laughs> so therefore, I just kind of find Moira easier for me, because I have no skill, which you'd also find if you watched my um, Overwatch competitive videos, you'd find out I have fuck all skill. But yeah, her kit is just really good, you know. She, she sucks you to death and I make a lot of blowjob jokes about it, so yeah. Moira comes in the number 5 spot because she's easy, has a good kit, and her healing is, well, fairly consistent. So yeah, fun. Number 4 goes to Ash. If you watch my top 5 DPS um, video, whenever I made that, that was fucking months ago, but... Uh, yeah, you'd know that I put Ash at number one because her damage is, well, good. She's got like, um, her sniper does good damage, literally one shots Tracer, Baby Diva and shit like that. Also will severely injure someone a squishy. So, good damage. Her coach gun, knock people back, you can get some sick clips with that, knock people off a map. You won't see that in this gameplay because I suck, but if, say, you get a nano boost or a mercy healing buff, then you can basically one-shot all the DPS heroes that have 200 health, all the squishies, and the supports, and basically anyone bar tanks and maybe Reaper or me. Anyway, the, our voice actor, Jennifer Hale, I think that's her name, She's very talented, like if you haven't watched the um, Ash cinematic when she was first announced like two years ago, a year ago maybe, like Jennifer Hill put so much effort into it, like I can appreciate a good voice actor and she is one of them. And yeah, and also, need I say more? Bob. I should need to say more about that, it's Bob, okay, we all love Bob, thick boy Bob, big Bob, whatever well, we want to call him. We all love them. Anyway, Ash goes to number four. So at number three, I decided to put my main tank, and like I said, if the Moira thing, if you've been watching my Overwatch competitive for, if you watch the tank videos, you'd know that Reinhardt is my main tank. So obviously, I'm gonna put him on this list. But it's not just because I find them easy to play, you literally just swing a hammer and murder everyone. No, 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 no. A lot of factors fall into it. So, how do I explain it? Well, first thing is, he's a massive German man and about 7 foot tall and massive armour 
his backstory is cool, you know, he was like the first line of defence during the Omni crisis for Germany, his, uh, his leader uh, died, rip, but um, yeah, he and also we all know the satisfaction of uh, charging someone, right, if you played Reinhardt and you've got that random charge you didn't think you were going to get, then believe me, you know the satisfaction. But Reinhardt is, in my opinion, the greatest shield tank, because I think he's got the most shield health, like out of all of them, between Orisa, Winston, Sigma and all that. But yeah, it's just very interesting, plus he's got one of the greatest uh, ultimates, but also one of the hardest to use in my opinion, because you need to know when to time it right, and who to get into it, and you know, if there's a shield and stuff, that can fuck you up. But yeah, also I love his voice actor, Darren DePaul. If you haven't watched, well, if you've watched any like Overwatch voice actor stuff, you've probably seen him in it. He is just fucking awesome. He has nothing more to say about that. But yeah. So, this one might shock everyone, at least to those that watch more Overwatch content. If you know who, you probably wouldn't know this. But from the time recording this, I have put, I think it's. 87 hours of total into Mercy and if you've been watching my support gameplay you'd know that Mercy is probably my is, is my go-to. Not only is she easy but you know I not everyone likes playing Mercy and I understand that you know you kind of feel like the mum of the group having to heal everyone and you know those fucking teammates that don't thank you after you res them and that shite Genji that always wants healing after he gets sneezed on. But at the end of the day Mercy is very rewarding in my opinion, you know. Cause I to fuel my massive ego, I was like, yeah you guys won because of me. You didn't if you you wouldn't have lost. You would have lost if it wasn't for me healing you every two seconds. Fucking Genji. But yeah also, a res ability is still one of the best, in my opinion. It literally brings someone back from the grave. Granted, um, with that being said, you do need a good teammate to res. Well, not always. You can res a shit one, but... In the last kind of fight, you know, you want to res a good teammate, one that knows what they're doing, instead of that fucking Genji that doesn't know what they're doing and decides to dash into the fucking charging Reinhardt for some reason because he doesn't know what he's doing. Man, I fucking hate Genji when I'm playing in Mercy, it's fucking lost. And also, Battle Mercy is a... Is, I, I didn't actually like Battle Mercy when it first came out, but now I realise it's actually quite a good strat. And I'm actually quite sad at myself for saying that, but it's true. So yeah, this one might come as a shocker, but Mercy comes in at number two. Because she's easy. And I find her the most fun. Well, kinda. Number one. This one is probably what shocks most of you. I've put Sombra. Now, why Sombra you may ask? Well that's a good question my friend, if we are friends, I'm not sure anymore. To be honest, my best friend is probably my left arm. Or my right one. I want to say it's some quantity muscle, I don't know which from which, but yeah, Sombra, where to begin? Um, well, she's arguably one of the hottest in the game, so that's fun, and I have a weak spot for Latinas, so that's also fun. Um, her voice actor, Carolina Radassa, sorry I like saying it like that, I, I might not say it like that because I don't know if it sounds racist or not, but I like saying it like that, so fuck off I guess. But yeah, also her backstory is kind of cool, you know, she's this mysterious hacker from Mexico who Mexico, not Meg. Whatever the fuck I just said. But yeah, she's a mysterious hacker from Mexico who joined Talon. And, and to be honest, I can keep up with the law, so there's probably some more in that. But that's all I can really pick up on. Our, um, our Uzi. I think that's what it is, I don't know. It's not the best. I mean, it's good. But not the best. Also, our passive ability where you see damage people through walls and shit. I like that. Because it means I get to stalk them. And I like that. Her hacking ability is, in my opinion, one of the greatest. Because you can stop a Roadhog from healing himself. You can stop an ultimate from happening. You can stop the Mercy from resing someone. You can stop the Arissa from shielding. You can stop 
basically whatever you want. Even McCree rolling for some reason. But yeah. Also her ultimate is kinda hard to use, but in my opinion, like uh, Reinhardt, it's very rewarding. Did I say it was rewarding? I don't fucking know anymore, right? I've had like four hours of sleep, right? Leave me alone. But it's very rewarding as it basically drops heroes like Zarya and Zenyatta's health to like half, I think it is. And it gets rid of Lucio if he, uh, Lucio's ult if he uses it when you use it. Which you actually do see in this clip, by the way. So, you know, it's kind of relevant to what I'm talking about. Yeah. Yeah. But, yes. Yes, that is all we have time for today. Sombra is number one. My commentary's kind of shit. I'm aware. Leave me alone. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this one. If you have another top five suggestion, leave it in my Discord. And yeah, with that being said, 